I would just like to call attention to the fact that on all, we have a lot of guests here that are not familiar with Preservation Bloomfield and what we, we do. And there are uh, brochures on all the table. Please feel free to take one and read it and enjoy it, hopefully, and know more about us. Um, at <coughs> Excuse me. At this point, uh, Jan's son, Brian, has agreed to give us a little bit of wisdom about his mother. <laughs> They'll be pulling everybody's car up. Uh, my mom's got a babysit tonight, so it's really, really nice that you guys came out for this. But uh, like I said, so up front, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, when, you know, Claudine asked me to do this, I, I was pretty excited, um, probably for the wrong reasons, but, you know, my mom having lived in the township since 85 and as I think Karen had said earlier wow doesn't your mom just look like she's in college I think everybody kind of knew my mom has been drinking from the fountain of youth for some time so when Claudine called and she said there's this preservation Bloomfield award I was like this is the place that's been selling her the juice right you know it's just the township right you know that's how she looks so good doing a little bit of research to get prepared for this realize you know that obviously that's not the case, but that it's really not a surprise that my mom is being honored here tonight for something with Preservation Bloomfield because I think as I look at my mom, preserving things that matter has really been a, a pillar of who she is throughout time. Uh, she's a, you know, both her personal and her professional life, she's a second generation um, woman business owner, right, of a family run business. Uh, for, I, w I want to say 43 or, or 50, 53 years, 54 years now. Um, she was uh, married to my dad in a, a very happy, long-lasting marriage of 43 years. She's been dealing with me for the last 34 years. Uh, she was uh, obviously dedicated uh, elected official within the township for 24 years, which she'll note is just you know one year shy of uh, the quarter century goal. But uh, you know, they don't they don't allow one year terms. So uh, you know, as, as you look at really everything she's done throughout time has been about really investing in and preserving the things that matter. So when you look at preservation, Bloomfield, and the idea of uh, a group or a society that is going to look at preserving what is important to uh, Bloomfield Township Hills, a, a community that's been so important to my mom, especially as they approach their 200-year anniversary, it's. It's no surprise that this is something that was, you know, so close to her heart in 2008 and something that she's supported uh, for so long through all the corn roast, uh, you know, gingerbread uh, morning brunches and, and different auctions that she's never missed through the years. So uh, mom just wanted to say, you know, obviously how proud we are of you and that, you know, uh, it's great you're being recognized tonight as the preservationist of the year and just how fitting it is with, you know, really what you stand for and preserving all the things that matter, not only to us as a family, but obviously to the community you've been such a part of. So we love you. Thank you very much. I don't can you hear me in the back? Okay. Um, I promised Dave Kellett that I don't only speak for an hour. Okay, Dave? So you don't have to go to the men's room. Um, that's what he told me. This is a proclamation honoring Janet Roncelli, PhD. I don't know if many of you know that Janet, Jan is a PhD. Whereas the people who dedicate themselves to protecting Oakland County's local history help enrich our understanding of the past and inform our future decisions. And where is Jan Roncelli, unwaver Roncelli's unwavering support for Preservation Bloomfield, a nonprofit, all volunteer community organization, has helped safeguard important relics of, of a bygone era. A collection of the Bloomfield Hills Historical Society, Bloomfield Hills Schools, the Charter Township of Bloomfield, and the City of Bloomfield Hills. That's how they got the name four B's, if I may add. Doesn't say that in here. Um, is focused on preserving and protecting two historically relevant homes in Bloomfield Township, Barton Farmhouse and the Craig 
log cabin are mid-1800s families' homes that are examples of local settlers and early architecture. And whereas Ms. Ronselli's commitment to preservation Bloomfield over many years includes serving as chairperson of the organization's annual corn roast event, as well as strategically strategic soliciting efforts for monetary donations and volunteers. That's called fundraising, right, Jan? <laughs> Whereas well known in the Bloomfield area, Ms. Ronselli was elected to serve on the Township's Board of Trustees in 1996. She was 20 then. And as clerk, I'm right, right? And as clerk in 2004, a position she served in until the end of 2020. In 2012, she was honored as, as Township Clerk of the Year by the Michigan Association of Municipal Clerks in recognition of her integrity and professionalism. And I have to add here, I don't think we could ever find anyone. Jan was just the best clerk I've ever seen. She, I know that Martin is here. Martin, you've got big footsteps to follow in. She, also, it, <laughs> she is also the recipient of the Women Officials Network Foundation Wonder Woman Award in tribute to her illustrious public service career and outstanding community service. Further, Ms. Ronselli holds a doctorate in communication from Wayne State University. And whereas on this special occasion, we join with local historians, community members, and others devoted to conserving the past to congratulate Jan Ronselli for being named 2023 Preservationist of the Year by Preservation Bloomfield and the Friends of Preservation of Preservation Bloomfield. Jan, congratulations. I'm gonna give this. Thank you, Shelley. Isn't it beautiful? This is beautiful. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our little group. And it's so nice to see so many people here. And you know, today is a very important day for us. Not only are we honoring the preservationist of the year, but since COVID, it's a great opportunity that we come together and it feels really good. It's like the old days when we all were a tight knit group. So it's important for that reason too, we extend into the community. And the other thing I have to mention is it's important today because all the money that is raised from this event, and I think it'll be quite a bit from what I see, uh, will go directly into our endowment fund. And that's so important because it'll assure stability and sustainability for the future of our organization. So I really thank you for purchasing the tickets and even those that contributed well beyond what the ticket cost was going directly into our endowment fund. So thank you everybody for, um, you know, for, for, for being here, it's great. So, you know, it's, it's a great pleasure that I've been serving as president of the um, um, Preservation Bloomfield for the last several years. And, you know, it's been a, quite of an interesting experience as I have now been exposed to some of the most dynamic individuals in our community and for any community, I would think. So while COVID prevented us from honoring this evening's guest of honor in a timely manner, we have felt committed to demonstrating our appreciation and affection for her incredible support of our many projects, which is why we are gathered here this evening. You know, the best skill that Jan Ronselli has is the ability to anticipate what is needed without being asked. My memory of Jan in high heels and fine business attire, having picnic tables moved on September mornings when we celebrated our corn roast, brings me smiles. She is a professional, regardless of the assignment. Um, you know, I remember uh, Jan, we, uh, we had a good time with her. She's, she's fun, sharp as a tack. And I remember we had a uh, corn roast meeting. This is a long time ago. So, you know, we all had this committee and we met on Saturday at an office. And our assignment on this committee was to get sponsorships for the corn roast. 
So I come in there and I, you know, we're on the table and I have my list of sponsors. I'm real proud, I got a bunch of them, you know. So I'm passing the list around and Jan's at the table that goes up to her and she goes, oh, uh, I see you have Richie there. I says, yeah, Richie, Richie is a friend of mine and he, he gave me a good sponsorship. And she goes, she goes, uh, oh, oh yeah, well Richie's a friend of mine too. And he gave me double. <laughs> I go, she's, a, she's the clerk, you can't argue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so we had good times. And I also smile when I recall we had put on a, a, a large banner, a big banner at the corn roast. It was along the farm in Bowers Road, Square Lake Road. And, you know, um, it, it's a big fence. And we, and we had the idea that signs were forbidden by the township. And Jan noticed a sign and saw to it that we were excused and allowed us to have the sign remain without any of us knowing that we had violated the rules. <laughs> so she, she was great. Moreover, the lady is a very early riser. <laughs> and she puts in an extremely full day. Not only did she serve as township clerk, and that's a tough job for many years, but she also helped to run the family business for years and handles payroll and personnel and issues, and I stand amazed. Um, tonight, you have the privilege of meeting Jan's son, of whom she has been incredibly proud. It warms our hearts to witness the affection and pride the members of this family have shared over the years. And we should not miss an opportunity to salute Jan's husband. Dan. Dan, I mean, I mean Jan's husband, Dan, I'm sorry, who passed away last year. And he too supported Jan and us at every event. I have a little story about Dan. I was at Costco. <laughs> One evening, rummaging through the shelves, and all of a sudden he says, hey, Michael. I go, hey, Dan, how are you doing? He's a real good guy, you know. And uh, he knew I was involved with the Preservation Bloomfield, and he knew, you know, like the friends of Bloomfield, uh, friends of Preservation Bloom for all women. So he says, Mike, I don't know how you do it. I said, what's that? He said, how do you deal with all those women? I says, Dan, that's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> but he, he was fun, you know. But going back to the family, in short, this has been a very bright, talented family, and we are, ever so lucky to have them on our team. So it is with pleasure that I have the honor of presenting Jan Roncelli with our appreciation and pride as the preservationist of the year. Frankly, Jan has earned our admiration as a preservationist for many years and tonight merely makes our love for her public. Jan, it has been a joy to have you with us. Well, I, I'm, I'm very humbled and very honored to have been awarded this honor and it's such a preservation Bloomfield has such a special place in my heart uh, it, it came about in 2008 and a number of people here are in the audience at that meeting when the four B's the city of Bloomfield Hills Bloomfield Township the Bloomfield Historical Society and the Bloomfield Hills School District all voted to approve the conception the the idea of Preservation Bloomfield and how we were going to handle moving those houses, putting them back together, restoring them, painting them, decorating them, and then opening them to the public for public use and academic events. And it's coming that way all the time now. They're, they're in use and it's, it's wonderful. And I learned so much about the history of the township. I didn't even know we had 100-year-old houses. And now we have more and more. Not mine, but anyway, <laughs> they're, they're beautiful, beautiful homes. And that history of understanding how people lived 100 years ago in the city of Bloomfield Hills or in Bloomfield Township, where, how, they, how they wash their dishes, how they wash their clothes, is so very, very interesting. And I have to tell you, I learned from what Michael talked about, these dynamic volunteers, all volunteers and predominantly women, you're correct, 
predominantly women who gave nothing but their time and energy and enthusiasm to making events like this work, all the behind the scenes for the gingerbread brunches and the auctions and the infamous corn roast that my husband loved to have the corn on the cob outside and the hot dogs. That was his favorite. So I, those people showed me how much commitment you have to have to do all the behind the scenes work and make these types of events successful and the th thousands of dollars they raised to bring those two houses to fruition. And I, I hope someday you can all see those. So I want to thank you very, very much for being here tonight, for being guests of Preservation Bloomfield and for the donation you've made to sustain the legacy of the Barton House and the log cabin and, and many more. Thank you again.